Reverse osmosis versus tap water. Now it kind of sucks to always have to use reverse osmosis water. So I'm gonna test it in my AB grow comparison and see if it's actually worth it. On the left side, we got the reverse osmosis. On the right side is the municipal or tap water that we have. So to begin, I'm gonna take net cups and I'm gonna line them up with some cheesecloth. And I'm gonna use three different seeds to see kind of which one's the best for growing produce inside. Clover, I've got peas, and daikon tillage radish. Net cups are gonna be filled with my perlite, and that seems to be working pretty good in my grow setup. The irrigation is all dripper style. As you can see here, this is the top half of my AB setup, and they're all one gallon per hour drippers that go for 30 minutes at a time. The nutrients I'm going to be using is the three-part master blend formula from Gecko Grow. Now, if you're from the US, you're probably a whole lot better off buying this stuff in bulk but unfortunately in Canada, our options are pretty limited, so that's what I'm going to be using. I'm gonna go ahead and set up all the pails and I'll show you guys what that looks like when that's done. And I'm gonna to mix to the 10 liter, which is close because there's 12 liters inside the pails. Both pails are gonna get 6.4 grams of the part one tomato formula of Master Blend. And both pails are gonna get 3.2 grams of the part two magnesium sulfate and we're going to put in 6.4 grams of the part 3 solution which is calcium nitrate and ppm looks like it's 651 in the reverse osmosis and 1120 in the tap water we'll quickly ph the solutions as well actually i have ph them already but we're just going to verify that they're right so with the reverse osmosis i needed to go ph up and with the tap water i had to go with ph down to get them to six that's right at six, so that's uh, looking good for the reverse osmosis and a nice pH of six in the tap water. So both are pH. So although I put the same amount of nutrients in both sides, you can definitely tell that the uh, tap water has got a lot of dissolved solids in it, so the PPM is much higher. But it is exactly the same amount of nutrients in both pails. All right, irrigation is set up in both pails. I've done my best to get the drips to go right in the middle. So now all that's left is to plant the seeds and start the grow. All right, so the seeds are in on both sides and we'll just cover them up and let nature take its course. All right, so the results of the grow for the reverse osmosis and the tap water are in. And before we pull these things out of the buckets, let's take a look from the top and kind of see what we think is better now. All right, just looking from the top down, it's kind of tough to say. Some plants are better on the left and some plants are better on the right. Uh, I think the pea is better on the right than it is on the left, but it looks like the daikon radishes on the left side are doing better than the daikons on the right. And the clover looks like it's kind of just gotten buried underneath. So I'll go ahead and I'll pull these things all out. I'll put them side by side. The left side was gonna be RO and the right side's gonna be tap water. Left side RO, right side is tap water. And we can see by the growth, I think the RO on this one is a bit of a winner. The plant's a little bit bigger and we got longer root growth on them. So I'm gonna give this side to the RO. And this one again, the left side is the RO and the right side's the tap. Now the top growth looks better on the P for the tap water. And I'd say the right side on the root is also a little bit more significant. Some of the roots did tear, so I'm not sure if we got all the rooting from either side, but it looks like we pretty much got it. I don't think we tore anything off. 
and I would say there's better root growth on the tap water. This is the daikon radish roots. They are just gorgeous. Lots of fine air roots. Looks really good. Those little hair things. That is amazing. Here's the roots for the RO. Again, too, these are just, oh, they're so good. These roots are just gorgeous. Beautiful. Really, really white. Lots of fine air roots in there. Pretty happy about that. All right, there's the daikon radishes side by side. Left side RO, right side is tap. Both of the daikons, the roots are just ridiculously white and very, very healthy. Although I would say there might be a slight advantage to the tap water in this case. I'm gonna pull out the daikons just to see if there's any root growth and if there's substantial root growth difference on the actual food portion of the stem. With the roots separated and just the edible portion left, you can definitely see there is a slight difference on the left and the right, I think. I would favor the tap water by just a slight amount. It looks like some of the growth is a little bit bigger. Now bring them a little closer so you guys can all see. And here's the dividing line. I think we have a winner. If we take a quick look inside the pails, both of them look nice and clean and fresh. And there's no odors in either of them. PPM results were 570 on the left and 10 70 on the right hand side for the tap water. Not surprising that the tap water started quite a bit higher with the nutrients and the dissolved salts and solids that were already in the water. Now I'm very pleased with those results. That's gonna mean I don't have to do RO for the rest of my Dutch bucket girl behind me and that's gonna save a lot of time for the kiddo who fills up the jugs for us. Stay tuned for next time. It's gonna be Dino Myco versus Great White and I'll leave that video on the side. Whichever side that is, once that video is done.